everyone, it's Naisha Malika B. I'm here with an actual luxury unboxing of something super fabulous and something that was on my list, wasn't on my high list, but it definitely was on my mind, okay? It was on my heart. Once again, I'm highlighting those that are in the industry that are people of color and particularly black people, okay? I want to highlight black designers, black stylists, you know, black fabric pattern makers, anything you can think of this in the fashion industry, photographers, etc. You name it, I'm going to be highlighting them and featuring them as much as I can on my channel. We deserve the ability to grow and to shine and for the world to know what our artistry looks like. Y'all know who my favorite designer is right now. Probably forever. Christopher John Rogers, right? So, if you want to get CJR pieces, you have a couple of options, right? You can shop when he has a pre-sale. That's usually after one of his fashion shows or he does like one of those, you know showings where he does all the photo shoots and the pictures and he releases them and you can go on the website and pre-order. I have done that probably about three or four times right by now, right? That's how I get some of my exclusive pieces that nobody else really got. But that's also pricey because you're paying at full cost. You also can shop CJR at some of the retailers that they are carried at like Saks Fifth Avenue, Saks Off Fifth, net corte 3. You can also shop at Bergdorf's for Farfetch. Farfetch has CJR because Farfetch partners partners with Browns Fashion, you know, in the UK, and also Joyce HK in Hong Kong, right? But Netaporte is connected to all of the world, so they have a Netaporte Asia, Netaporte Middle East, Netaporte Africa. So there are ways to get CJR pieces in just about every country, unless you're on one of those lists where they don't ship to your country. You can get it all from there. But also there are small boutiques to carry his pieces, black owned boutique in Oakland and in, in Detroit called McMullen Boutique owned by Sherry McMullen. Check her out. I have shopped with her as well to get an exclusive runway piece. You can also shop with Hamden Clothing, right? I think Stacy Smallwood is the owner of that. That is in South Carolina. There are so many ways to shop CJR. I'm not even done yet, okay? There's a new Austin, Texas boutique called by George, I think, or by George Austin. Go check them out. They carry CJR and they do put them on sale. Then there's Shop TA in Brooklyn, which is owned by black boutique owner Telsha Anderson. I have bought my first CJR dress from her and I did it over the phone, called her and was like, hey, I gotta have the dress. Do you have it? Please ship it to me. And she did, okay, and it worked out. So I think Alara Lagos. Obviously in Nigeria, they have an option for that as well. You have many, you have many ways to get you some CJR pieces, okay? You got some ways, but don't ever forget, eBay exists. Sometimes they're on eBay. A lot of those Target dresses, if you didn't get one and that's all you can afford, they're all over on Target. They're all on Poshmark, right? Shop, look around, find stuff, you know? Anything is possible, right? So let me get you this dress because I know I'm talking way too much. I got the exclusive boxing from Bird Doors because I'm like, this is on crazy clearance. Why not? It's just $7. And the last time I bought a piece from Bird Doors, it just threw it in a box. And I paid. So I'm like, y'all, look at this on my plan. Y'all better give me my, uh, my my fancy box and my ribbon. Like, give me my ribbon, honey. I want the ribbon. I put it on a hat. Anyway, suit your address. This is from Collection 10, I think. Nine? Girl, I don't know. We're going to see in the tag. Anyway, this is a rib polo knit dress. Look at the Bergdorf box. And don't ever think like, oh my God, I can never shop with Bergdorf and have that money. Girl, Bergdorf has stuff that's like $12, $10, $15. If you just want to feel fancy, buy yourself some lip gloss from Bergdorf and let it come in a fancy box. You might spend $20, maybe $27. You might spend less if it's on sale because they have extra $25. An extra 25% off sale they do very often. Just follow the trends. Like I say, anything is possible. Even if you just want something fancy. That's small luxury, big luxury, medium luxury. Anything is possible. But let me show you this dress. Because this is possible to be on my body. Look at this purple paper. Like, oh my gosh. All I can think about is Prince. Purple rain. This is a nice box right here. It has a magnet in it. I'm keeping this box. The dress is long. All right, so this is the CJR dress, okay? And I'm gonna tell you the price that it retail for, and I'm gonna tell you how much I got it for just 
to give you a little hope and a little inspiration, okay? This dress, it says LOL in its head. This dress actually retailed at $1,225, which meant that the tax it probably would have been about $1,300 total, right? $1,325, something like that, right? I got this dress, and it shows that it went on sale multiple times. Let me look at this first sale price, because look, some pieces I want on a crazy clearance. That's what I want. It went on sale from $1,200 to $735. I don't want to pay that. Not for this dress. Then it went on sale again from $735 to $490. Can you see that right there? To $490, right? But let me tell you this, honey. It went on sale for me again for $227 out the door with taxes and the box included. That's a good price for a nice piece of luxury. It might be too much for you, but it was just right for me. I actually got a small and I wish it was a medium. It's snug, okay? And I usually don't buy his pieces that are like really, 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 really stretchy. Small, like in a small because, you know, I'm a 6'8 now. My hips and got hipped, okay? But it looks really good on me. It looks like, woo! I don't know about that, but it's beautiful. Let me show you the fabric detailing because looking at, we're going to be honest, CJR definitely does pieces. You know, I'm back to what I was saying about this beautiful shirt dress. It's beautiful. It's sumptuous. It's sensual. You know, it's elegant. It does have stretch. It can fit my hips clearly, but it is tight. I do wish I would have gotten a medium, but, you know, we popped up and I got what I got. But, you know, just saying that for modesty's sake, but it really does still fit me because it stretches very, very well. But let me show you some of this fabric. I'm going to get out of the camera. Look at the different coloring. You know, if you want to look, there's a sheen, a beautiful sheen. This is an elite viscose knit. This is not that kind of knit that you're going to find in Forever 21. You're not going to find this nowhere, but with some elite people who have connections with great top of the line knit companies that create these knit fabric. This has to be made with a knitting machine, you know, and of course they make the fabric and they have to match it all up properly. You know, this is an entire process. This is not something that's just barely made. These were made in China because everything from his company, the knit pieces, a lot of them do come from China because they work with a knitting factory over there to get those pieces made for people. But it's beautiful, darling, beautiful. I don't think I'm gonna try this on right now because I just don't feel like it. But I did wanna show you guys the dress. Remember to support black designers. Don't always think something is out of your reach. You might support the black designer that live down the street from you. They don't have to be my type of black designer. It doesn't have to be Romeo Hunt. It doesn't have to be Anifa. It could be whoever you choose to support. But give them your business, okay? Give them your business. Give them second chances. Give them third chances as well. You know? Stay with your people. Make sure that you are supporting Latino designers. Support people in Peru. You know, artisans. Give people the chance to design and to show you what they can do. Because we are just as talented, just as worthy, just as epic as anything else. Out and don't forget... Them top fashion houses, Gucci, Louis, Prada, etc., Versace, a lot of their monogram things do come from African tribes and from their trips and traveling overseas and looking at things, and this has been confirmed and verified. You can look that up. Don't forget that. So y'all like, oh my God, it ain't like Gucci. It ain't like this. Like Kanye said, this ain't that Ralph though. But actually it is because it comes from somewhere. Where did they originally come from? Look at that. But this is my CJR dress. I probably have a video with this later, but I'm not going to do that now because I have a lot of things going on. But I did want to show you guys that. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, watching my channel, and supporting me. I always appreciate the love and the support. You know what? I am going to put it on. Hold on. Okay, so I did put it on. I know I said I wasn't going to put it on, but I did. But this is the CJR dress. It is a little on the tight side. This is the dress. Beautiful fabric. It looks good. It feels very comfortable. It stops just over the tops of my feet. So, of course, it's definitely heel friendly. You're going to be able to wear a mm, 3 to 4 inch, 2 to 4 inch heel, depending on your height. Since I do have more hips than the person who probably would wear this, the hips do take up some of the inches in terms of length. But somebody who's probably taller than me probably would definitely have this like cascading over them because they don't have those but that's the dress it's really pretty i am in love with it but it ironically it wasn't even like oh my god i have it list it was on my maybe 
list. I kind of like that list, but not got to have it, but it just so happened to be available. Anyway, I just want to thank you all so much for sticking with my channel, for being here, for clicking like, for subscribing to my channel. Remember, we always have a lot more coming up. In the month of Ramadan, of course, I'm going to be highlighting more Muslim fashion, but I'm also going to get into the lifestyle of Ramadan, what it's like being a Muslim, and just, you know, giving some information and facts, aka Dawah, D-A-W-A-H, to you all if you all care to know. Stick around. This will be a pretty exciting challenge, but I'm also not going to push myself to shoot a lot of content because, you know, if you're fasting, you may be tired and you may have low energy, and also you're trying to devote your time to worship. I'm not like a super full-time content creator like other people are who have to keep their brands up, but I do recommend that you shoot yourself in advance, which is why I'm shooting this before Ramadan started, not shooting it when Ramadan starts and I'm all tired and looking dry and dehydrated. Okay, thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Ramadan Mubarak, if this comes out then, enjoy your life, enjoy your life, enjoy your life, and don't forget to wear clothes that give you a little spice. Peace out. I'm Malika B. Bye.